Hey guys, Karibu Sana. Welcome to our first Swahili Taster session in our Languages for Lockdown series. I'm Tom, I'm a student of Swahili and linguistics at SOAS, and I've sent a few questions to Mwalimu Ida, who is a lecturer in Swahili at SOAS. Uh, I've asked her a bit about how Swahili sounds uh, and for some basic greetings and introductions. So let's see what she has to say. Hujambo Tom, Mimi ni Mwalimu Ida. So you've just asked me how Swahili sounds like, and uh, I'll tell you what, we have five consonants, and we also have sounds that are made from a combination of, of consonants. We also have sounds that are a combination of vowels, but let me just tell you about this then. So the five vowels are A, A, E, O, U. A, A, E, O, U. I think in English you say A, E, I, O, U. And uh, how I would use this in a, in a word would be to say, for instance, for A, it's Baba, to say Dad, Baba. And A, maybe to say a mango, then I would say Embe, Embe. And to say E, for instance, the chair that I'm sitting on, I would say Kitty, Kitty. And to say O, you'd say, for instance, a good example is fire, Moto. Moto and U, our most favorite food to eat, Kuku, Kuku, which is chicken. So you see how Swahili sounds like. Sometimes we have vowels together. So those R, A, E, O, U can be together. So for instance, when somebody calls you, if so somebody says, Mwalimu Ida, they're calling me, I would say, Naam, Naam. That's two A's there. Ah, Naam. And um, if I see a man that I respect, then I would call him Mze. You've got two A's there. Mze. Yeah. Um, yeah. So those are okay, two examples I can give you now. Greetings are really important among the Swahili. You actually give yourself time along the way where you're going to meet people and greet them and sort of like uh, see how they're doing and they'll see how you're doing. So when you meet somebody, they'll probably say Habari. Habari. That means news. Habari Gani. What are the news? How are you? What's happening? And your response would be Nzuri. Nzuri. You could also say njema, njema, or salama. That means, so nzuri is good. Habarigani, nzuri. They might want to ask you about school, shule. Habari za shule, you would say nzuri. They might ask you, how's your dad? Habari za baba, you would say nzuri. Have you noticed how the response is always nzuri? Good. Because literally when somebody greets you and says hello, you just say everything's good. And then later you might say, well, actually, habari si nzuri, maybe your father is not well. You, that's, that comes later. But respectfully among the Swahili, the first thing is nzuri and then whatever else happened uh, comes after. So habari gani nzuri. Habari za shule nzuri. The other one is hujambo. Hujambo. Hujambo is how are you? And the response is Sijambo. Sijambo. When tourists come to East Africa, they go Jambo, Jambo. We know they're tourists because a real Swahili would say Hujambo. And the response is Sijambo. Another greeting, this is among the young people. They say Mambo, Mambo, which is things. And the response is Safi, Safi. Or poa, which is cool. Oh, yeah. So mambo poa. And uh, when you meet an older person, you'd say shikamo, shikamo. And the response is marahaba, marahaba. 
There's also a universal greeting along the coast, especially, which is Assalamu Alaikum. And the response is Alaikum Salam. When you greet someone, titles are quite important. So when you meet an older person, you would say, Shikamo Mze, Mze, older person. When you want to say Hujambo, you could say Hujambo Mze, Hujambo Baba. That's like um, quite res that's like more respectful as well, yeah. And um, that's it. So practice some greetings. Let me hear you. Hujambo Tom, habari za nyumbani, habari za baba, habari za mama, habari za shule, nzuri, vizuri, very good. So, today I want to tell you how, how you would say your name, how you would introduce yourself. And um, one of the easiest way of doing it is to use the ni. So, for example, if you remember when we met last week, I told you, Mimi ni mwalimu ida. You remember that? That's it then. Mimi, I, ni is mwalimu ida. Teacher ida. Mimi ni mwalimu ida. So, Mimi is I. Wewe is you. Wewe. Yeye is he or she. So, he is a neutral language. No gender. Sisi, all of us. Nini, you all. Wow, they, them. Sawa? So, Mimi ni mwalimu ida. Wewe ni Tom. That's it. Another way is to say, Jina langu ni. So, jina langu ni ida, jina langu ni ida, jina lako ni tom. Langu, that's a possessive, mine, my name, jina name, jina langu ni ida, jina lako ni tom. And to ask, you would say, jina lako nani, nani is who, so we ask, who are you called? We don't say what are you called or what is your name. It's 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 it's, it's who you know. It's more. This is like a more humane uh, language for Healy is. So you'd say, um, "Jina lako nani? Who are you called?" And you'd say, "Jina langu ni mwalimu ida." Okay. So go on. "Jina lako ni nani?" Asante. Okay. Now. Um, I told you about the ni. You know, ni is, like we said, mi, mi, ni, mwalimu, ida. Ni is one of the best verbs, which is like an action word that you can, you can know. So you could, you could use it to say so much. You could say, mi, mi, ni, mwalimu. I am a teacher. Mi, mi, ni, mama. I am a mother. Mi, mi, ni, mwanamke. I am a woman. Mi, mi, ni, mwanamme. I am a man. Mi, mi, ni, mtoto. I am a child. Mimi ni mkubwa. I am big. Mimi ni mzuri. I am lovely. And all that. So try and practice now saying Mimi ni and also Jina langu ni. Okay? All right, before I go, you'll notice today I'm wearing something quite colorful. This is called a kanga. A kanga is the Swahili uh, cloth. It has a multitude of uses. 
we use it to carry children we use it um after delivery we use it for weddings we use it for almost everything when you're cooking in the kitchen it's pyjama when you go to bed and this is the swahili cloth that speaks so you buy kanga because of the words that it has so for example the one i have here hanging says penyenia hapakosinjia which is where there's a will there's always a way so if you want to learn swahili there's always a way karibu kwaheri